Hi, how are you guys? I hope you are fine. So today I show you how to grow a plant and a flower in a stem. So without wasting any time, let's go to the video. We go with the geometry nodes here first. Add a geometry node. First, we select set position. First, I show you here. Set. We go for set position node. But again, I told you we go for this object. Okay? Now you just see if I rotate it anywhere like I want X, Y, Z direction. Okay. And now we need to uh, do a more node. First of all, we need a uh, vector map node. Vector map node. We made three copies here. The more we need a uh, nice texture here. Nice texture here. We need a position node here. The more thing we need a uh, scene time. Scene time here. Not the no format here. We need a simple math node here. And this to substitute and this one to simple. We go for scale with black vector here. This value to 0 0.5. Same this value to 0 0.5. Like this one here. And like this one to offset. Now, you already see a uh, little bit of distortion here. But not a problem. Uh, for now, we does not play with this texture here. Now, if I play the animation, it just looks like this. If I play with the frames here, you have to see. Uh, but not a problem. Uh, we try to reduce the scale scale. Let's do something more. You see scale here. We go for this. Now simple we add a color ramp here. We go for the color ramp. We go for the gradient texture. We uh, go for the vector rotate. And the same, we copy this position here. Here we play with uh, some sort of these values. For now, uh, just wait. Like this position, to you guys see for now. Now, I'll sort it from the single side. Okay, for now, one click this, uh, we go for other one. Simply go for uh, vector rotate here. Vector rotate. Uh, sorry, not this one. I think we got like this. Simply here, uh, so vector rotate. Plug this one to here. Plug this position to this vector. Now you see, yeah, it's uh, going good for now. Okay, find this angle to simple 90 degree. Try this value to be zero and this value to be one. Okay, now you guys see. More, much more perfectly than the previous one yes looking much good for now uh, now let's play with the texture here a bit now uh, simply tweak uh, with some sort of scale here on our UCC we got this yes much looking perfect so if we play a bit with scale now Something. Yeah, this is good. Uh, now simply shift this on. Yeah, we drag on a Y axis. Okay, and uh, the one more thing, uh, copy the GNO for this. And uh, now you are change the value, okay? the scaling value. Now you see that the bamboo uh, are not same. Okay, do not set it. This is depend upon you, like what you do. Okay, detailing some sort of. Uh, now okay. Yeah, they both are now different. So let's. So here I copy scene and this setting here. You already see like oh yeah, it's looking much more perfect. 
but uh, try to do um, some sort of changes with this okay with some sort of scaling um, bit and uh, detailing etc with this with each and every one okay that uh, they are not looking same okay. i try to reduce the distortion bit here i also go for the flower okay. and reduce the scaling bit like this yeah now this is looking much more perfect you will see we have two types of flower and uh, the one we have this plant surface okay now uh i think uh, i delete this now directly drawing so i import the other one because this is not uh, looking uh, good in my animation so i'm putting another one now now here there's my tree and i uh, add all of my uh, this stuff into this row this section now coming to the material section First of all, we uh, go for a uh, distal point on face it. Then we uh, uh, go for instance on point there. Uh, I also show you guys. Uh, okay, now here, like this one, we have these rows for now. Like this into instance. And uh, one more thing, we need a join geometry here. Okay, like we need to simply like sorry for this. Like this, uh, this to here okay for now you see just set the thing like this now simply separate children reset children okay okay this one is written perfect for now for like this rotation to here and here we go for a line rotation okay we go for yellow to rotation okay and this one will rotate okay here you see we have a much more scaling value okay now we play a bit with the scaling value first of all you for 0 0.1 now you, uh, you guys see perfectly like each and every uh, everyone has rotated perfectly okay looking much small good for now uh, okay so play with this sort of animations play with this some sort of seed here okay you see here it's much much, much more perfectly yeah here I go with the other note. Uh, previously I used this note, but I don't think so. This is perfect um, for my value. Okay, so I turn this into uh, minus 90 degree, and the other one into minus 180. The Y one. Okay, not a Z one because we need on a Z direction. For now, just see like we have uh, this value for now. I reduce this scaling bit, but not a problem. We also use a note here. But the one more thing I. Okay, the model like this. Here, yeah. yeah. Now you see, each and every plant is like grow on the upward side, not in the downward side. Okay, but not a problem. Uh, this is depend upon you. Like if you change your value uh, to 90 and 180, if you rotate in this direction uh, for uh, scaling, if you want perfect scaling, and you also go for the uh, random value. Okay, random value not. Uh, so we have 0 0.1 here. So 0 0.1 or we go ahead. A 0 0.2 and 0 0.05. I show you also show you here like how it looks like. Yeah, it looks like perfect. Uh, but I think 0 0.1 is perfect for my animation right Now random seed is there, the random seed also. And uh, one more thing, you can also increase uh, their uh, capacity like how much you guys want. Now let's go for their scaling a bit. Okay. Uh, so simply here and uh, add okay first of all here add empty you go for sphere okay you guys see sphere here yeah looking might be perfect okay let's go for this one here's the empty uh take it here now for now okay first of all we need a position now we have two of these now yeah now we go for vector map uh vector map node uh, first of all is to like this into a similar uh like distance okay okay so let me see what is distance okay this one like first position okay and like your location to here now everybody uh, need a map range value we need a color ramp uh, color ramp factor okay uh, so first of all uh, grab this node here okay for now I unplug this okay and like these values uh, sorry you already see now yeah then i plug their color to simply scale yeah but not a problem i manage now okay uh, 
let's uh, play bait with uh, these map range values okay now this will depend upon you like how you guys play okay how much you guys need minimum and how much you guys need maximum okay the minimum this and the maximum uh, it's in everything okay here invert uh, first of all here uh, i show you if i grab empty you see the more i close the more it grow okay so for now uh, flip with these values okay no i think so like yeah the more uh, i get closer the, then uh, it can grow perfectly okay i place here the empty at the middle and uh, play with some sort of values So after playing a lot of uh, the, the setting, the map range and the, the color and because we invert these values, I flip this and now if I get the levers like you got the uh, plant like this okay. You are drag when you are moving okay and uh, when I move further the previous one was okay. Alright uh, so now I show you one more thing. Uh, then, uh, for this uh, and add here a scaling state this one scaling state so here uh, with a scaling we will add a random value ok now uh, I put here a little point uh, uh, 6 5 ok and now if I move the policy we are uh, scaling a uh, little bit now it's not really uh, much more good uh, like this ok uh, the further you can also change the value just from this shape ok you see uh, from where you need a more scaling and then I, when I grab on X you see it's in everything uh, is uh, for you here like this okay uh, now uh, simply uh, we play with the uh, rotation value with now we rotate a new value uh, so we can go for a uh, rotating instance instance okay here if I can close like this now here I show you I, I go for the keyframe for now okay uh, so here let me go to frame 1 so uh, okay for now we zero this and I select all of these press uh, sorry for this uh, we go for uh, keyframes yeah, and uh, turn on the key so increase or decrease the value now here I go almost frame ok frame 40 I turn this value into like this direction a little bit this direction and not like this okay, like this but on a Z not enough for uh, I go a little bit and it will be positive like this ok press R and now for all things select the selected channels ok this and then I will go bit with the frame 80 and change this value like this and yeah like the button and uh, this a bit more rotation ok now you will see we are also rotating this uh, might be looking much more cool because we go almost for 4 frame 80 if you want to go out a bit more then you go to frame 120 and then this value is more like uh, this and this etc that you, uh, you want ok I turn and uh, this that the zero for now like uh, this one okay 
Now you will see my part much smaller than this. I can just find out. You see, they are also loaded perfectly. So when I move this, let me show you. Uh, when I move this, they are also rotating. You see, it's my building much more cool. I got from one zero to show you possible okay. map the animation from from below. Now you see, looking much more cool. And so let's uh, go for uh, the one or two more steps. Now we import empty. Uh, this is our uh, might be a last step. Okay. Okay, for now, uh, don't uh, put empty. For now, we first uh, go for the camera. Okay, so here's our camera. Okay, here's our camera. Okay, so we simply grab, uh, grab this camera. Okay, uh, now let me see. Okay, now it's my camera, see like this. Uh, okay, now I add the empty here. Simple empty in which you want. Uh, I have a plain access empty. And uh, let me see where the empty here. Okay, I have empty. So I select my camera and select this. Uh, where the empty here? So we call this. This empty. And parent with this, okay? Control P and object. Uh, now if I rotate my empty, my camera also rotate. Okay, so I go for the key and then you know. And so I simply alter it. And here, uh, frame zero. Rotate uh, this uh, on simply x direction, like this. Hit more. And here I came in a frame 120 here. And uh, rotate like this like this my camera okay not enough nah the thing uh, okay i go for this angle not too much and think here here the perfect okay now you guys see like what you see on the camera you see yeah looking a bit more cool yes much more perfect but if you guys uh, need a, some uh, sort of faster animation uh, then you can okay so thank you so much guys for watching uh, I also uh, uh, rendered this animation and uh, show you guys like what the thing we got at the final so thank you so much guys like our video and subscribe our channel